Good morning, Year 10. It's another video just to uh, help you through this part of your field work. So, so far, last week, you've done two lots of field um, sort of lessons on field work. The first one was your location, your risk assessment. The second one uh, was all about the methods of data collection. So what you're going to collect and how you're going to collect it. I've been out today to the beach um, and I've been back to the groin that I made the original videos on and I've measured the groin every five metres on the north and the south side. And I've collected this data here and I'm going to show you today how to present this data. And as part of this lesson, you're going to hopefully have a go at it yourself. You're going to draw the groin and you're going to create some, um, some bar charts in order to present this data so that next lesson we can move on to, um, to analysing this data and seeing if these groins actually do work and whether they are a good source of coastal management. So we're gonna start off with our, uh, on my whiteboard, and see I'm using my, uh, my three-year-old twins um, whiteboard. I've, I've got it here, all ready and waiting. I'm gonna start off with, um, at the bottom of the board, I'm gonna start off with our sea wall. I want you to imagine that you're standing on this sea wall and you're looking out along the groin. So this is our groin. We've got to the north. That's where Fleetwood is. And then to the south, on the south side of our groin here, that way is um, towards Blackpool Tower, Cleveleys, that way on. So if you remember rightly, what we did is, or what I did, we started at zero meters on our groin and we moved out and took a measurement every five meters. So zero, five, 10, 15, 20 meters, 25 meters, 30 meters. Now I didn't go all the way to the end of the groin. The groins can be anywhere between 30 meters and sometimes 100 meters long. So I didn't want to take measurements all the way to the end. So I did the first 30 meters on both sides. And what we're going to do is take this information and we're going to create a bar chart for each of those to look at which side of the groin has the most deposition. So the side with the smallest number is the side that's got the largest amount of deposition there. So I'm gonna start at zero and I want you to do this. At zero, we've got um, 91 centimeters from the top of the beach to the top of the groin and 145 centimeters on the no north side. So I'm going to start off here with a bar chart with the south and the north. Okay, if I was going to draw this accurately, I'd have a scale of 0 to 150 centimetres. And on the south side, I'm going to draw a bar that's about 91 there. You're going to do it more accurately because you're going to create and measure these. And on the north side, we've got um, 145. Okay, I'm going to do the same at five metres. So this time I'm going to create a bit of space, 87 and 159. So south, north, zero up to 160 and on the south i've got 87 and on the north side i've got 150 and you're going to do the same at each of these points creating a simple bar chart to show this data and then next lesson once we've done this next lesson we're going to have a look at analyzing and interpreting this data to see um, if our hypothesis works and if we can agree with our hypothesis. Have a go at this, um, do have a, have a try, try and recreate what I've done here. Don't worry if it's not working, don't worry if you're confused by it, if you're unsure. I've seen some brilliant work so far, you're doing a fabulous job. It's not ideal, we haven't been out to the coast ourselves, we will take you there, but this is a really, really good first go at it. So please have a go, I really look forward to getting your, uh, getting your work in uh, once you've, you've drawn it all up together. Thank you, speak to you soon.